Labour Party presidential candidate Mr. Pito B finally exposed Tinibu, the president elect to Nigerian president right now, Muhammad Buhari, over the election rigging and how he met the Chief Justice of Nigeria in London as he disguises in a wheelchair to leave the country for the secret meeting. Hey, hey. Hey, wait, don't play that video yet. Welcome to Lost TV. This is your home of all daily Nigerian trending entertainment news and gossip you need to see and watch. Yes, we keep you entertained 247. Yes, 247. So just subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified anytime we drop the latest we do concerning your news and trending gist. So roll the video now. Roll it. Now to the full details. Mr. Pito be opened up to President Buhari saying that Chief Justice Olukayo De Ariwola has been cited in London, disguising on wheelchair as an old man in what Supreme Court sources said was a clandestine preparation for a meeting with President elect. People Gazette reports today. Mr. Ariwola movement was exposed as Mr. Tinibu was arriving in London for what his team claimed was a realization trip after a hectic campaign that preceded his declaration as Nigerian's president-elect last month. But Mr. Tinibu kept his trip to London secret until it was exposed on Wednesday afternoon by Sahara reporters, who said the trip was a medical emergency. It was learned that Mr. Ariwola departed Nigeria on March 11th via Nam Diazikiwe International Airport, Abuja. He was pushed in a wheelchair through the terminals to board a British Airways flight, our sources said. Upon arrival in London, Mr. Ariwola, 64 years old, was also wheeled in a hotel downtown where he was remained ever since. But immediately after checking into the hotel, Mr. Ariwola abandoned his wheelchair and started moving around the facility unaided. The Supreme Court head is not known with any physical disabilities. It was learned that Mr. Ariwola repeatedly picked up food ordered via delivery services at a mid-level lobby, including Uber Eats and Deliveroo. It was unclear whether or not he placed the orders by himself or how he paid. With Mr. Tinibu now in Europe, he would be meeting Mr. Ariwola in a secret arrangement. The Chief Justice of Nigeria deliberately left the country more than a week ahead of Tinibu to avoid any suspicion about why both of them disappeared at once, a source familiar said. The Gazette has temporarily withheld the CGM photos and the specific hotel he stayed in to protect a source central to this story. A Supreme Court source said Mr. Riwola wanted to meet Mr. Tinibu to discuss issues that may arise from the boarding legal challenge to the declaration as president-elect, including whether or not he should be worried about the petitions recently filed by opposition parties, Labour Party and PDP. Sestus Akande, a spokesperson of the Supreme Court, abruptly hung up when the Gazette requested comments about Mr. Riwola's secret trip to London. Finally, they have exposed some of the pictures or photo of Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ariwola, disguising on a wheelchair at the airport, trends following the news that he met with Mr. Tinibu in London. According to People's Gazette, who reported the news, it was learned that Mr. Ariwola departed, departed Nigeria on March 11, Vietnam Jaziku International Airport, Abuja. He was pushed in a wheelchair through the terminals to board a British Airways flight, as you can see on the picture. Upon arrival in London, Mr. Riwola, 64, was also weighed into a hotel downtown, as we have already said earlier. Now, we are waiting for Mr. or President Buhari statement over this, as Mr. Pitobi has exposed what is happening in Nigeria over the court issue coming up via what INEC did over the presidential election. I want to know. What action which will President Buhari take over this since it is his party that won the election that was rigged? Thank you. Namaste. Bye bye. Thank you. I go by the name Black Mamba. Don't forget, I thank God for my subscribers, my phone, and my sub. If you like, if you comment, if you subscribe, I'll keep thanking God for you. I love you all.